Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new but original makeup tutorial that a lot of you guys have been requesting and missing. This is like the type of content that I started with here on YouTube and I know that there's been a lot of nail and hair content nowadays but it's just because there's not a lot of new products launching uh, but I have so many fun ones in front of me. So uh, yeah we're just gonna have fun, try out a few new things and see what we think of them. So I'm just gonna start off by taking these clips and putting them so my bangs get out of the way. I absolutely hate my bangs right now. They are such a uncomfortable length and I don't know what to do with them. I really just want to cut them off so I get my mini bags again but I have gone way too long to do that. So um, it is such nice weather out today and after this I'm actually gonna head out to uh, my friend's place and we're just gonna sit at her balcony and enjoy the afternoon sun. So uh, SPF for sure. This is the SPF that I have been loving the longest. It just never disappoints and it's really nice underneath makeup. And then we have something that isn't even launched in Sweden yet, I think, but it will launch later this month. And that is the Second Skin Multitasking Skin Tints from The Body Shop. These should be very lightweight. It's just a tint it should be. So I don't think that we're gonna get a lot of coverage with this, but just to like even out our skin tone. So let's see, I should probably go in with, I'm a little bit fake tan, so I'm gonna go in with the light one w let's see yeah this is probably a good shade right and to blend that in i have the new nyx professional makeup doesn't say but a new brush this is the brush that comes with the um, blur foundation so i'm just gonna take a little bit and we're gonna see how it blends maybe a bit too dark but i think it's gonna be such a light coverage. Okay, right away I absolutely love the brush. Something feels a little bit off about it. Can you see right here? Hmm. It just feels like whenever I touch it, it moves. Okay, see that? Yeah, I hope that you guys can see that. It has like crumbled. Ugh. products like this that are super super thin and lightweight it's just better to apply with your fingers so i'm just gonna go ahead and use this with my fingers i mean now when it's on it's looking really really pretty and as it is such a lightweight formula you can't really see the patchiness now when it's all over but yeah i'm not fully convinced right now. And then a launch that I have not even heard about. I feel like Urban Decay is such a brand that was super hyped before, but I don't really hear about it anymore, which is really sad because I loved Urban Decay. Um, this is the Stay Naked Quickie up to 24 hour wear multi-use concealer. This might be a weird <laughs> color because I ordered it when I was super pale and not fake tan that this is the ultra fair <laughs> 10 neutral neutral Ooh, it has a brush up here and then they have why can i not <laughs> i don't get it should i just pull it oh i don't get it i need a man luckily i have a very strong boyfriend <laughs> um so it was just a twist but I was a little bit too weak. <laughs> so this is how it looks. It looks like I get a lot of product in here. It's 16.4 milliliters. I don't know if that is a lot, but it looks like it. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it a little bit all over. And then I guess we're just gonna go ahead and try this brush. I don't love when brushes come with concealers like this because like, how do I wash this? Can I remove it? I don't think so. Maybe it's really good. All right. I can't say anything bad about it 
used yet. It blended out really nice. I like the shade even though it is way too pale for me right now. So I'm just trying to blend it out as much as possible. But now we'll see how it looks underneath the eyes. And that is for sure the most important. A bit weird to like hold it and dab it. Just gonna say. You know what? I do not like this brush at all right now. So I'm just gonna go in with my dirty beauty blender. And right away, it just looks way better. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a tiny bit more. The second layer did blend in very nice, but it is looking maybe a tad bit dry, uh, which I don't see something bad right now. We'll see how it looks after a few like hours or so, but I'm quite oily around my eyes. So sometimes it's good for me to have a drier concealer, but obviously with that, it can make my lines under my eyes stand out. Now I'm just going to go ahead in with not a new product. This is the baked bronzer from Milk Makeup that you guys know that I love. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze a tiny bit. Now I'm gonna go in with the Cheek Freak blush from About Face in Get Some. It's one of my favorites now with pink hair. And I'm just gonna use the back of one of my beauty blenders and dab that in. If you do not already have these, you need them. They are so, so pretty. I absolutely love them and I cannot believe that not more people are talking about them. As you guys know, this is my favorite highlighter of like all time. It's Ozone from Nabla. And I've had this for way too long. It is super broken. And I just realized that it's, it's, it's too broken now. <laughs> it still works, but you know what? I can get myself a new one. I kind of feel like I'm breaking up with my old one because I've had it for so so long. This might be my most used makeup product like of all time and it's kind of sad that I'm like throwing it away but just look at it in its new form. <gasps> wow! Prepare yourself for the most amazing highlighter. <gasps> oh it's so pretty gonna use this like a little bit all over. <laughs> I actually think that my skin is looking uh, amazing but I do want to go in with just a tad bit of powder and for that I'm gonna go in with my radial glass powder underneath my eyes but then on the rest of my face as I don't have a lot of coverage. Not that I really think that I need. I do have a few pimples right here but I don't really care. But there is the new uh, the Body Shop. Here we have them. Tea Tree Bases. So it's a foundation powder and they have these refill cases. As you guys can see right here, I have a refill base that I put in there and just close it like that. I'm just gonna lightly dust over my face all over. So just gonna remove the creasing and then go in with this very lightweight powder. I felt like I lost a little bit of the blush and the bronzer so I'm just gonna go in with a contour which is the coffee from my palette just a tad bit to get that shading in there again and then just a bit of powder blush on top of this. Okay it's not at all the same shades but I don't know I just felt like I needed a little bit more. I really had to like redo my entire base after the powder foundation. So I'm adding a little bit more highlight as well. As always, the KVD Signature Brow Pen. Like how many times have I said that I love that? It's just the absolute best and there will never be another brow pen that is as good. I'm just gonna go ahead and fake a brow tail as I don't have one. Fill in the brows that I do have and fake the beginning. 
As you guys know, I have been completely obsessed with a new brand about face that is made by the singer Halsey. And these eye paints I have used so, so much and I love them to death. I want all of the colors obviously, but they are quite expensive. So right now I have like all of the primary colors, but as I love them so much, I felt like it would be perfect to get them into neutral shades. So we have a darker brown called Weightless and a like very taupey cool tone one called Smell Before Rain. And these would be perfect for like any day I feel like to use as like a contour just in the crease or use as a base with eyeshadows obviously. So I'm super super excited about these. So the makeup look that we're gonna do today will probably be quite neutral. So pretty. And then I'm just gonna go in with a fluffy brush and just lightly buff this in and blend it upwards a little bit. Oh, look at that. It's just like a perfect base for like anything, I feel like. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a tiny bit more here and also some underneath my eyes and then blend it. I absolutely love this. I'm gonna see how it works with my quite oily eyelids. The other ones I have used with powder um, on top, but these ones, I feel like I just wanna leave them like this and see how they work by its own. Um, but I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the darker one in the crease and like in the outer parts. Just gonna use a tiny bit just to see how pigmented these are. Oh my God, these are so pigmented. I love, 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 love. And they blend like a, a dream. I'm gonna do a light pencil. These are the um, Line Artists liners. And uh, this is the shade Equestrial. These are just so nice to use here to create like a elongated waterline like not a lot just like that i've been loving just juicing mascara nowadays so i think that's just what i'm gonna do now as well if you have any like amazing waterproof mascaras that i should try out please let me know because uh waterproof mascaras is like the only thing that can hold the bend on my Lashes I feel like now it's time for lips. These are the about face cherry pick lip color butters And I got the three shades date me a dark like a brownish color pink Pina a pink one and guava crush, which is more of a warm tone shade and uh, I want to go in with the pink one. I think so exciting. So this is how it looks. That is such a pretty shade. Let's try it. Oh, I have never smelled anything that smells this yummy. This is not cherry. It's like a peach smell. I did not think that it would be so much color. Okay, that is so pretty, but I do, I'm just someone that needs some lip liner because I really love a strong lip line and now I also love to overline my lips. So I'm just gonna go in with the Anastasia Dusty Rose lip liner. I do think that this will not last that long because it feels so buttery. I feel it's just like I'm just gonna eat it up. It doesn't feel like it's a like long wearing product but with that said it's looking so, so pretty right now. It is looking uh, like a different shade now with the lip liner, unfortunately. It looked like it could match, but it was for sure not really the same. But I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch the other two shades. That's pretty much the shade that I have on right now, it looks like. Ooh, that was also such a pretty shade. A true brown, I would say. Should I go in with this instead? I kind of wanna. Should I? Yes, I should. <laughs> this is the Anastasia lip liner in the malt. It's a really dark brown. As I don't think that this is a long wearing lip product, I'm just gonna go ahead and put 
the lip liner all over the lip. And now let's go in with this. I love a brown lip. I want to say though that I can already tell that the um, butter uh, lipsticks from About Face is like making the lip liner move. If you have this, I think that you have to like keep in a little mirror with you <laughs> just to make sure that it's not like all over your teeth. But it's not right now, so maybe I'm judging it too quickly. So there we have the finished look. I absolutely love this look, even though I can see that some might not like it. I don't know, you tell me. It's very simple, but it just does something. But before I end this video, I do want to include some notes that I will have in a few hours. So first of all, the second skin from the body shop, I can't say that much about. The first impression wasn't amazing, but also after I just worked with it a little bit, I kind of liked it. Again, I can't really say much as I used the powder foundation over top. The concealer, I must say, uh, even though I have the eye paint right now, so you can't really see much, but it is looking really pretty. I have high hopes. I'm positive about it. I like it. <laughs> the eye paints are looking so good. It is a bit of creasing maybe right here, but not a lot at all. It is matte and it is looking matte still. You can see that I'm quite like black right here, but that is the mascara that uh, transferred the uh, lip color butters <laughs> from About Face. I love them, but they are very, very buttery. I um, could not have it for very long until it was all over my teeth, like a darker shade. And also it just transferred really easily and it also made the lip liner bleed a lot again i really hope you guys have enjoyed be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my other videos and like this video if you enjoyed this sort of content so i know have a great day and hopefully we will see each other in the next video bye guys